Hello and welcome back to the Out of the Park Developments YouTube channel. My name is Alex Murray, also known as AZ Excellence. Today, as you guys can see from the uh, uh, the chalkboard over there, we are talking about setting custom data or save locations for your OOTP games. Now, you might be wondering why would you ever want to do this, and I'll try to explain very briefly in which situations you might be asked to do this by our tech support team or you want to do this yourself. So, for some people, the OOTP default location for saved games is right directly inside of your users documents folder. It'll be, you know, uh, users, my documents, and then there'll be an out of the park developments or an out of the park baseball folder. And inside of that will be each different version of OOTP 22, 21, 20, 19, etc. That is, by Windows definition, the default location for those, and we'll talk a little bit more about that um, in our next tutorial about importing games from version to version and how that can be complicated by Apple products. Um, but for now, that is your default location. For some people, their C drive or their main hard drive is just for their operating system. They don't put games on it. For, for gamers, that is usually the case. For those people they may want to make a change to where their games are stored, especially their saved games, because especially in the case of OOTP, our saved games can become quite large in size, upwards of a gigabyte or more for each saved game that you run through. So for some people, they have a secondary hard drive that they'd like to put the games onto. For others who are being directed by us, the tech support people, to be able to, to move their location, that usually comes from having problems, corruption, save location issues. If it's a permission problem with your OS, not communicating with the game, or if there's just general corruption issues that happen routinely over time, or if they're consistently happening, we usually will recommend that you change your custom data location. So that way the game is using a place that has less potential permission problems or is a place that doesn't interfere with your OS's security systems or any security systems that your computer has from a third party. So it works around those. So now we've talked about kind of why you might want to do it. Let's go ahead and show you a demonstration of how to go about doing it. All right. Now, the first thing we want to do is launch our OOTP game right off the bat. As you can see, I'm running with 22 for this example. Now, before we make the change, we need to go and find out where our customization folder is located at because when we make the change, we need to copy everything, and I mean everything, over to that new location. I've had so many people who do a data change and then they get a face gen error and they get problems with permissions because the folders that are supposed to be carried over were not. And that's something where the game doesn't register that the folders are missing and recreate them. It just simply gives you an error message that it could not find them. Usually it's a cannot find FG files folder or something similar. So for this example, we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to troubleshooting, which is the last folder, last tab. And we'll go to open folder containing customizable data. When we go here, you should be brought straight to this page right here. This is your Explorer um, location for where your customizable data or customization data is at at the moment. All right. So before you make a change, do this and find the location because we're going to need to save this location and know where it is or keep it up on our screen. So that way we can, after moving the custom data location, copy these files, these folders and files to that new location. All right. Now, here's how we go about doing the custom data change. So leave that Explorer page up on your screen someplace else, put it in the background. We're going to go to Expert. Excuse me. And you can see I have already changed it for myself personally. I have an external hard drive. Actually, it's an, it's an internal uh, NVMe hard drive. Super fast, much better to work with for OOTP. Highly recommend solid state drives or NVMe hard drives as they are much faster than solid state or uh, the, the disk drives. But as you guys can see, you can barely make it out. I've moved the location of where my game saves are the, the, the customizable folders to. All right. Now, all you have to do, because usually by default it will be blank, all you have to do is hit select. 
And this will now allow you to select a new slash data folder. And this is going to be all of your data. So as you can see on your screen, I have already set it up to be D drive. I've got the D drive OTP custom, custom, well, I call it the customization folders. Um, but basically it's a custom folder I built up just for my OTP games for work related stuff. All right. And you can see I have OTP 22. I made all of that by hand. And then I put this as the data folder and then copied over all of these folders to this location. Now, you can always change this. If you don't have an external hard drive or a second hard drive to use, go back to your C drive. You can select drives from this list, select the C drive, and you can see this puts us right at the root, which is basically C dot dot and then backslash. I think that's, no, forward slash. Um, you can do this location right here. Simply make a new folder, title it OOTP, and then whatever version you're running, so OOTP 22 in this situation. It will automatically create that folder, and then you can say select, and it will set up that location as your new location to use as your customizable data, all right? Then, once you're done with selecting that, I'm not going to because I've already done this, but once you select that, it will give you a warning that you should move all of those folders that we talked about beforehand, all of these guys, move all of those to your new location. All right, so the quickest way to be able to do that is to after you hit select and hit OK on the warning, go right back to troubleshooting. Go back to the open folder containing customizable data, click on that. Another brand new Explorer window will open to the new location that your new saves are going to, all right? And then simply copy the old location that you'll find right here, the one we had up before. Copy those. You can either move them or copy them to the new location that should be blank. All right? Once you do that, relaunch OOTP22, and your new data location should work just fine. If you have issues with that and you need to reset that, if it has problems launching after you do a data location change, you're going to need to go to your app data configuration files, all right? The default location for that is your C drive, users, your username, app data, roaming, and these are all folders, and then out of the park developments. And then you're gonna need to go find your OOTP 22 folder. I can go ahead and show you guys the location of that just for security purposes, I can't show you the route. But basically all of this up here. So it's your local drive, users, your username, app data, roaming, out of the park developments, and then the folder, and then config. If you delete all of these files, it will reset where your custom data is located at and it will default back to the original, all right? So if you have problems after making a custom data change, go right back into this folder right here and make that change. For Mac users, here's my advice. Because that location is gonna be harder to locate, when you're about to do the custom data location inside of the game, click on the open folder containing file app.cfg. This is going to tell you that you're opening up the config folder location for your Mac. And then as you can see, it will bring you right to the exact same location. All right. If you do that beforehand, similar to how you open up the save games location, you can at least then know where those locations are, even if the game can't launch, because you will have a finder window for Mac users of where that is located. So some troubleshooting in case the troubleshooting of fixing your save game location doesn't quite work the way you're expecting it to or it has issues. All right. So that's all you guys should need to do to get OOTP 22, whoops, my apologies, or newer or older versions of OOTP set up with a custom data location. Hope you guys find this tutorial and, you know, helpful. If you have questions, please do put it down in the comments section down below. I will answer those if there are questions or concerns about anything in this video. Otherwise, guys, I will see you all in a very, uh, video very soon about, oh gosh, the next one is importing files or importing saves from one version to the other and how it's different for Mac users or Apple product users and Windows users. I will talk to you all then. See you soon.